question. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have license plates? Do you pay income tax? Do you have a business license or homeowner's insurance or car insurance? Have you ever bought a building permit or a fishing license? And do you have any children in school? Yeah, some of you may know where I'm going with this, but did you know that as of 2003, there were over 5,000 federal criminal laws with 10,000 to 300,000 regulations, depending upon your type of employment? And that's not counting state or local law. And if you recall, Obama placed 40,627 new laws and regulations on the books in 2010 alone. Well, as is obvious, there are quite a few laws and regulations for the people living in the United States, and every American is expected to abide by each and every one of them. And yes, many of the laws and all of the regulations cost the American people money. In fact, it was recently estimated that the annual cost for federal regulations, and again, this isn't counting state and local laws or regulations, but it was at $1.88 trillion. That's 11% of the U.S. GDP. And I didn't even bother to look up what it would cost if you broke any of those laws, which we all know is always many times more expensive to break them than it is to keep them. Yet every law-abiding American pays them without question and abides by the laws of the land each and every day, knowing that in so doing causes most of them to experience a financial burden for them and their families. So why did I share all that? Well, it's because most people will pay the fees and abide by literally tens of thousands of rules and regulations without question, even when it takes food off their tables. Yet, when it comes to the laws of the land in New Jerusalem, wherein there are not tens of thousands of these laws, but only ten commandments in the kingdom of Jesus Christ, but most Christians have a hard time keeping them, and especially the fourth commandment regarding the Sabbath. And get this, 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 even says that his commandments aren't even grievous which means none of us experience a burden for keeping his laws. In fact, keeping them blesses us and our families in amazing ways. And so I have to ask Mr. and Mrs. Christian this question. Is Jesus really your king? Or are you saying by your actions that mankind is your king? Think about that for a moment. If you keep every law in your nation, as is your Christian duty to do so, yet knowing that in so doing causes you financial burden but at the same time you refuse to keep the law of your God, wherein he declares in Ecclesiastes 12:13 that this is the whole duty of man, then you are proclaiming to be one of those described in Romans chapter 1, verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless.